Hey guys, it's Vodka here with a hopefully quick video regarding Tira's 1.40 changes. I wasn't actually going to make a video on this, but my uh, top donator uh, Rage Magic Arp was like, please? <laughs> so, you know, I gotta. Uh, most of the changes are stability and quality of life changes for her. Guest Off Madness is a little less gimmicky, but still gimmicky. And there's been a couple. Uh, safety adjustments, which is great. A plus K will now do a B plus K in training and will automatically persona change on the first headbutt. I don't know if the third one can still persona change like it can otherwise. But um, what I don't understand is why they didn't add like a 4A plus K, which is a 4K that will always persona change, or like a 2A plus K that will just do B plus K but instantly give you coda. I, I don't know. They're crazy. Anyway, um, damage from Jolly self whatever self damage. They just added an in game explanation as to why she gets the headache instead of actually addressing the headache. Because I think it's good that she gets one and doesn't die, don't get me wrong, but I mean, that headache just lasts forever. Like, if they sped that one up, like, if it was twice as fast, it would be great, but I mean, it's like over a full second of her rubbing her stupid head. Mm. Uh, Jolly A plus B. They just adjusted the animation, because when they sped it up by 8 frames, I guess they thought it looked kind of funny. I don't know. They do weird stuff. Mm. Jolly Soul- or sorry, Gloomy Soul Charge, Critical Edge, 4A plus G, and 6-6A plus B are now easier to perform. I didn't have a problem with literally any of these, but... Uh, B plus K. It's actually kind of bittersweet. It says it's a, a buff, and it should be, but oh, hello. I've noticed more whiffs since this adjustment. Um, but so they made it so on AGI, you move forward a little more, so you're less likely to whiff. But I've noticed my head's just kind of going through them. <laughs> it's great. And... um. If you commit to an attack before you actually hit your head, you won't get a headache anymore, which is super great. So, you know, it's less gimmicky, which is, oh, it's so great. Uh, Critical Edge, Jolly A, and ETB plus K will, um, they're less likely to whiff because their hitboxes and tracking are better. Um... So yeah, that's a thing. And then Gloomy 4B Just String and 236KA are now easier to perform as well. Why they didn't like um put that with the, the other ones, I don't know. But I mean, these are both pretty good. I have only missed 236KA like a small handful of times now, where it's literally just me being stupid rather than the move basically being a just attack. And 4B, the only reason I can possibly imagine they would actually touch this, considering the just attack wasn't really hard before, is that string is garbage on block. <laughs> like, um, you can step off out of the first hit, which is fine. I get that. But on the second hit, you can't step out However, you can guard impact, reversal edge, or your minus 18, so you can punish pretty much fully. Which, what? That's, that's way too many options. It, I think it should jail, so then you just have the punish. That would be fine. But, oh man. Oh, Tiris. Everyone's like, oh, she's so good. She doesn't need Coda. She really does. Because if you know the character, you know how bad she is. 
<laughs> um, 6 6 k is now safer on block. It's, I think, minus 10, so very few characters can actually punish. And it's, I'm going to say it's less likely to hop over them, because it's, it's supposed to be a mid, but it was only like a true mid at a farther range. So if characters have a super tech crouch, like Voldo, I think it's his crouching 3B, where he like stabs you and then goes back turn. Oh, I whiffed every single time. And it doesn't even look like he's going down. I don't know. I just hate him. Um, but they also adjusted it so when they're airborne, it'll always do the attack throw rather than only doing it if you hit them when they're like facing you, which is great because before they would fall to the ground if they were back turned. And it was really awkward. Updraft K is great. This adjustment is I never like I didn't even want this but it's like I didn't know I needed it in my life until I had it it's safer and it's actually like an animation adjustment rather than a block stun adjustment so you can get more combos and like I'm just I'm so shocked by this because the entirety of Tira's kit like 99% of her stuff is only safe because it's got a lot of block stun on block rather than it recovering quickly. So on whiff, she is like, Bleh. <laughs> she's so bad. But yeah, so you can combo on it now. This one, 4-4K and 6-8K can whiff at certain angles. So it's probably better to go into critical edge directly and take the little bit of damage loss. Unless you can react to the angles. And this one here will tech trap every direction and then look at the meter it gives you. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, with the 4-4, four, four, A plus B, A, A, if they don't get up, you're minus 16 on block, so they can punish you. And, you know, so it's like bittersweet, but oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> um, This is another great buff that, again, I wasn't like expecting. I was hoping maybe just for the headaches to not happen, but they did kind of adjust that. The other way where you commit, which makes this better. Um, it now works like 6-6-B and 6-6-A plus B for Jolly's lethal hits, where as long as it's the first attack you do after a persona change, it'll trigger the lethal hit rather than B plus K having to change you, which is super great. It's, it's still gimmicky, like most of the setups for it can be interrupted, but they have to kind of know it's coming depending on the setup. So, I mean, it definitely gives you some more pressure, but also not pressure, because it's like a 30-plus frame to get to the actual attack hitting them. So, you know. Um, yeah. But, anyway, let's watch a setup. So, like I said, they can get up and interrupt you there, but if you, like, mix it up sometimes, they're not going to just stand up and attack every time. And Jolly's 2A plus B looks really similar to B plus K, so if they try to interrupt, they get hit with the low, and that's a pretty good low. So, you know. Gloomy running K will now do less damage from the combo, which is understandable to me, because Gloomy 6-6-A plus B is, like, the strongest combo ender in the game. Like, I mean, it's really strong. And I'm gonna have an alarm come off in a second here. Um, so that makes sense to me. And then Gloomy, Soul Charge, aka the 
break attack A will no longer guard burst on block, which is understandable because, I mean, it does push them back a bit, but your plus on block in that string is hard to react to. Oh, not snooze. Go away. It's hard to react to, though you can step on block for the A, and then the K and A will whiff. And if you've got a character with a back turn or whiff punish, lethal hit. Oh, I hate it. But, you know, they gave you an out. You can't get mad at them. Anyway, all in all, these changes are really good for her, but none of them was actually what I was wanting or hoping for. But with these, there's really only a few things that I would personally adjust. I think her 3A needs some love, as well as her 4B. With, I mean, okay, so with 3A, I think it needs to be a natural combo for the move to be as unsafe as it is. Because that low is great. It's got great range, but the damage is really bad. And you're negative 10 on hit, so characters can punish you for hitting them with an attack. Um, and the B, which will, like, 99% of the time not be a counter hit after, or, you know what I mean, A won't be a counter hit. So, I wouldn't say anymore. You know what I mean. So, it's minus 22 on block. If it's not a natural combo, that is a ton of frame to punish. And, yeah, like, she's got the guest off madness, but that doesn't impact any lows, or throws, or kicks, or break attacks. So, she is extremely open, even when she has the AGI. So, I think it needs to be a natural combo, or they need to make it so that 3A is like minus 6 on hit, and the B is minus 16 on block. That would be fine. That would be really good. And I wouldn't complain about the move. But as is, it's like, it's a part of her kit that you can rarely ever use. And I hate that. And then 4B, it's um, way too slow and obvious. I think if all of the attacks within the string were sped up like one or two-ish frames, then it would be a lot better. So it's harder to step out between 4BB and the A comes out faster. I don't know, like, the entire string is just garbage. Because, obviously, you can step out of everything on block. And even on hit for some things, you can step out of. And I don't think that's fair. So, I would say if they made the string sort of like Shangwa's, is it 1K slide A, A something? Where it's all a natural combo, but you can step out of the finisher on block. I think it should be like that, to be honest with you. So, like, take away the, the knockdown, because she can combo off of it, and make it, like, minus four. I would be so happy with that, because you would have a sort of mix-up game, and she has... Or, I mean, she's got some, but they're all kind of bad. You can just sit there and block, and it's fine. Like, her 6B update is fantastic, and I love it. But the mix-up is hardly a mix-up. Like, yeah, people try, and they should try to avoid it. But you can also just stand there and block and take no damage. Whereas, like, 6A, it's got the mid and the low. That's kind of better. But yeah, anyway, the only other thing I would change is she needs a good horizontal mid. And I think 3K's box should be widened because she's like kicking with her ring blade. So I don't know why it's not. And it's like minus six on hit. And that's 16 frames. Like the move just isn't great. And I think if it had a wider hitbox, she would be less vulnerable to steps because especially in Jolly, like she eats step punishes like crazy. Especially those that have a tech crouch, like Sophie's 2-2-B. Oh my god. I'm just glad 
Pyrrha's 2-2-K isn't in the game because that tech crouch was insane. But yeah, basically that's everything. I, yeah, I mean, if you guys have questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. But all in all, I think Tira's at a, a really good spot. And there's, like I said, only about three things that I would actually want changed. The rest of it's just me being selfish. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys.